Some people are going to quickly see how to solve this math problem and find it pretty easy, while others of you out there may have a tough time with it. Let's take a look at the question. So two cars on the same route leave at the same time from the same place. One car averages 65 miles per hour and the other 55 miles per hour. When will they be 55 miles apart? All right, so this is the question, but we do have a multiple choice question. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is four hours, B is 4.5 hours, C is five hours, and D is 5.5 hours. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. Of course, I'm gonna fully explain this in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so just to be crystal clear about this problem, we have two cars leaving the same place at the same time. Now, one car is going faster than the other, so naturally it is pulling away from the slower vehicle. And the question is, when will these cars be 55 miles apart? Okay, so let's see exactly how to solve this problem. The first step in solving any math word problem is to make sure you actually understand what's going on. And a good way to do that is to read the problem at least three times. In other words, the first time you read a problem, just get a general sense of what's going on. The second time you read the problem, start bringing in some details. But the third time, make sure you actually understand the question. And here the question is, when will these cars be 55 miles apart? But uh, for those of you out there that are still students and have to take tests and exams, if you don't know how to do a math problem, just make sure you guess. That is always a smart move. So even if you uh, guessed an answer here, of course, I'm going to tell you what the solution here is in a second, and you get it right, well, that is great. All right, now, the next thing that you want to do in any math word problem, if you can, is to visualize it or model it. Now, sometimes it's difficult to do, uh, to do this with some problems, but in this case, we have two cars. We can make ourselves a nice little sketch to kind of visualize what's going on. All right, so these cars leave the same place at the same time. And, of course, one car is going at an average speed of 65 miles per hour. And this is really important because we can't or we don't want to overly complicate the problem. In other words, this is the average speed. Of course, in real life, this car is going a little bit faster, a little bit slower, and we're not even accounting for acceleration. In other words, these cars leave and we kind of have to simplify the problem where they're just kind of instantaneously going these speeds. Now, of course, if you're taking a more advanced math class or a physics, a physics class, excuse me, then of course you have to account for acceleration and things like that. But anytime you are dealing with a math word problem, don't purposely, you know, complicate the problem. So we're going to take a real simplistic view of what's going on. And here we have our two cars. So of course the faster car is pulling away from the slower car. So the question is um, how or what time or how long is it going to be when they're 55 miles apart? Okay, so that's effectively what's going on. Now, if you can kind of think about this, if you're staring at this, you might be saying to yourself, well, I got this speed and this speed, but really what's happening is we have kind of a relative speed going on. In other words, think about when you're driving down the highway, if you're going 65 miles per hour and the car next to you is going 65 miles per hour as well, you know, you're basically just, you know, side by side. There's no relative motion. But here we do have a relative difference in speed, and that is 10 miles per hour. So effectively what's going on here is that this faster car is pulling away from the slower car at a speed of 10 miles per hour. So we can kind of simplify this problem down to how long is it going to take? Let's just kind of think about this 10 miles per hour in terms of a car. So we kind of think of it this way. How long will it take a car going 10 miles per hour to travel 55 miles? So effectively, this is going to be the key to figuring this out. 
and hopefully some of you saw that pretty quickly. You're like, hey, well, the relative difference here is 10 miles per hour. So how can we solve this problem? Well, let's just use a little bit of a, a little bit of common sense here. 10 miles per hour means what? Well, it means this car is going to travel 10 miles every hour. Okay, so I'm kind of giving you a little bit of a hint on how to solve this. So if this car travels 10 miles in one hour, well, in two hours, it's going to travel 20 miles. In three hours, it's going to travel 30 miles. Of course, in five hours, it's going to travel 50 miles, right? And of course, we're asking the question here, how long is it going to take to uh, travel 55 miles per hour? Or when is it going to be when these cars are 55 miles apart, which is effectively the same as this question here. Okay, so I gave you a pretty big hint on how to recognize what the answer is, but we're gonna use a little bit of algebra here to solve this problem. So to figure this problem out using algebra, we need to understand this formula right here, which is rate times time is equal to distance. This is definitely one of these must-know formulas, and if you uh, are not familiar with this formula, I'm going to suggest that you put this into your long-term memory because this is uh, the formula to solve all different types of motion problems. And motion problems are problems that involve rates, time, and distance. Now, rate is just a fancy word for speed or velocity. So here we're talking about the speed of something times the time is equal to the distance. So let's take a look at a few examples so we make sure we understand this. And the key to using this formula is to understand the units of measure involved. So again, the rate is like the speed of something. And we'll take a uh, car here again, and let's just kind of use a standard 60 miles per hour. Okay, so if a car is going 60 miles per hour, that means what? Well, it means it's going to travel 60 miles every hour. So here, 60 miles per hour is our rate, right? So this is 60 miles. Now you can write this rate this way. You can write it as miles per hour or miles per one hour. This is what 60 miles per hour means. Okay, so 60 miles per every hour times the time. Now, because we're measuring the speed of this car, the rate of this car in hours, miles per hour, we want to express our time in hours. Now, if we don't have hours, in other words, if we are uh, given time in minutes, we would want to convert to hours. So you gotta be really paying attention to the units of measure. So if a car is, again, going 60 miles per one hour and it travels one hour, so we're gonna multiply the rate times the time, we're gonna end up with the distance, which of course is going to be 60 miles. But the way this works is that the units of measure here are going to cross cancel when we multiply two fractions. We're gonna multiply the respective numerators and denominators. The hours cross cancel and we're left with miles. So our answer here is 60 miles. Okay, so this is a critically important formula in algebra because a lot of word problems involve motion so again, rate times time is equal to distance. Now, although this particular problem is pretty easy to figure out, certainly we can have more complicated problems where you definitely need to understand this formula. All right, so let's put this formula to work to solve this problem. So what is the rate? Well, we're not talking about 55 miles per hour and 65 miles per hour. We're talking about the relative difference, which is 10 miles per hour. So we're thinking about this problem in terms of like a car traveling 10 miles per hour, how long would it take that car to travel 55 miles, which is the same thing as uh, this car going 65 miles per hour, opening up the distance to 55 miles from the slower car. Okay, so here we have our rate, which again is 10 miles per hour times the time. This is what we're looking for is equal to the distance of 55 miles. Okay, so this is a very simple algebra equation and it's just going to be 10 times t is equal to 55. And again, we're trying to solve for t. Okay, so in algebra, to solve this simple equation, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 10. So 10 divided by 10 is one, or one t or t. And 55 divided by 10, of course, is 5.5, which is the answer. Okay, and this makes sense because again, 
if this uh, the relative difference of these cars pulling away is 10 miles per hour in five hours they'll be 50 miles away from one another right but we're looking for the distance when they'll be or looking for the time when they are 55 miles away and of course the correct answer here is d okay so how did you do well if you got this right that is fantastic and if you didn't use algebra that is great so i got to give you a nice little happy face and a plus any 100 percent and if you're uh if you weren't familiar with this formula rate times time is equal to distance well, again, this is really important in mathematics and in algebra. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.